staying healthy isn't just important for human beings. Plants also have to make sure they eat right and stay immune from unwanted diseases. Organisms that can cause plant diseases are called pathogens. They include fungi, bacteria and viruses. Plants can catch a disease from soil pH, water content, oxygen level, nutrient level or the activities of other soil organisms. When pathogens attack plants, it doesn't just affect the health of the plant population, it also affects human health. Nowadays, I think people are not aware to the damage that plant pathogens cause the world. About 25% of crop productivity is lost due to plant diseases. A common solution is the use of chemical pesticides, which can poison not only the environment, but also the public. Pesticide residues affect fruits and vegetables, and the pesticide drift pollutes the air. We have the chemical pesticides, but you know, more and more people are afraid to use them because they are damaging our environment. If you put them in an environment, it persists there and it causes a lot of damage to other organisms. And the cost of chemical pesticides is very expensive. At the Hebrew University's Robert H. Smith Faculty of Agriculture, Food and Environment, scientists are looking for environmentally friendly, biological, botanical alternatives to fight plant diseases. We are trying to see if we can use bacteria to help promote plant growth bacteria that are commonly found in soil in the area of the rhizosphere, which is the area where the roots affect the soil that can be used as biopesticides against uh, specific plant diseases. Israel is an ideal region to investigate which bacteria can help plants stay healthy around the world. Agriculture is, is a very important industry field in, in Israel. We export a lot of products, but we also use them here. And we are interested in learning how to grow a lot of these uh, products in desert-like environments. And in these environments, it's very important to see if we can use bacteria to help plants cope with such an environment. So Israel is a very good place to learn it because we do have a lot of areas that are similar to more desert-like areas in the rest of the world. The pathogens that we are studying here, a lot of them are affecting the United States, mostly watermelon and cucumber uh, industry. And I hope that we can find ways uh, not to harm nature as much as we do now and to fight disease, plant disease. We will uh, first help the agriculture productivity, but also help the environment.